morning welcome to the channel short sleeves are on the weather's here and today and today I have got an epic climb Tan Hill where the highest pub in Britain is at the top of so it's in the hundred greatest climbs I'm not sure the number but it's going to be an epic climb probably one of the toughest climbs I've done today so I'm parked at the bottom of button butter tubs which I've just come over and I tell you what I don't know if I'm ready for that climb yet I was gonna do this and then make an attempt on it I don't know if to still try that but I'll see how I feel later on but it looks a right climb I've just come down in the car and I thought it's bad enough in the car uh, maybe not quite ready for that yet but this ride I'm hoping I can do Just coming out of Gunner side. Beautiful village. Beautiful. Exactly. This road is an absolute treat. Uh, say from Hawes, if you come over butter tubs and then follow the road to Reef. Honestly, it is an absolute joy. Joy, beautiful scenery. There's some nice pubs on the way as well. So that's good. If you want to stop, I'm just coming down quite a big hill actually. I'm got this in my hand, so probably not the safest thing I've ever done. But never, never mind. yeah. When we climb, first climb, just come up. <laughs> I'm just coming up to a bit of a steep bit here. So, we'll see how the game gets on here. Full red on the uh, climb. Grade remains 6% it's saying. It's much bigger than that to be honest, but that might be average. I'd say 11% that was. Oh, yeah. Again, all that height. This is just a beautiful ride, it really is. The views are amazing. I don't know if you can see that road going up there. That goes up to Barnard Castle. And that looks a steep road. I don't know if that's a climb or what, but I ain't doing that one. Uh, this one's not too bad to be honest. It's all up to now. I'm, it says there's six climbs on it and I've done three so far. And they're not too bad. The further ones look, don't look as bad as the ones I've done, so we'll see ya. Eh? But uh, anyway, let's carry on this way. I'm a changed man. I've gone past three pubs. The only reason why I wanted to go out cycling was to get out and stop at the pubs and have a pint and then carry on. But I've got me protein bars. I've got me electrolyte drinks. 
all this carry on, I'm just a change man, you know what I mean? I want to go on longer rides, so I'm going past these pubs and I'm just missing them out. Uh, I probably won't even get anything at Tanel either because I want to come down and, like I said before, attempt to try and do butter tubs. I don't know if I'm going to have the battery or the, the energy to be honest, but I'm going to just, just in case I am. So I've used about 40% battery already as well, you know, because they've been quite big climbs. So I'm a, lot, I'm, a, I'm a lot fitter as well. So, anyways, I'm going to carry on. It's not too bad here. A bit more climbing to do yet, though. Hell of a lot more. This way, I plug again. If you haven't already, subscribe. And all my friends who I speak to, please like the video for me. And uh, if you like it, first time here, like it as well. Helps me grow the channel. It's a bigger. Ch Helps me do better videos like this. Gets better equipment and stuff. So, if you can, please. Half percent. So that's four climbs in, uh, two to go. I'm below 50% of the battery, so it's been a long old trek. I think the site of the climb must be a good seven mile ago, so it's a long old slog, like. Right? Time at road here, three Not far now, two more climbs to do, and these look a little bit easier, so... I don't know if you can see, there's two bikes going over the top there. I'm not far, but I'll carry on, I'm doing alright. It's probably the hardest thing I've done, but I feel a hell of a lot fitter, so... It's probably easier than when I first did rhinos, because I won't fit them, but... I reckon I'll have to try rhinos again, actually, see how fitter I am. Tan Hill is about 1,700 feet high and it's the highest pub in Britain. Oh, a lot of birds try to attack me. Oh, obviously, want me near the nest. Don't worry, fellas, I'm not going nowhere near.
can't believe it. I made it 1,700 feet high, Tan Hill in Pub, the highest in Britain. So we're in Scotland, the Glen Wales, that is the highest pub in Britain. And I've just cycled up here. It's an amazing achievement for me, it really is. I can't, I can't believe it. I'm a bit a bit emotional to be honest because I never thought in my life I'd ever able to do something like this, but it's just amazing how good these are be again. So I can't well, do anything, even though I've used nearly all the battery on it. But luckily, obviously, it's just all down out of the car now, so I'm not going to need any. There's one of the roads around here, though. Look at the view. Oh, my days. Everything. High cross there. Get some photos. Yeah, the pub's really busy and uh, like I said before, I don't really want to have a drink and that because I am going to try and, I'm probably obviously not going to attempt water tubs now because obviously I've got no battery power, but uh, obviously I've had that much <laughs> electrolytes and all that, I don't want to drink a pint and then I've still got a big uh, descent to go and uh, it's that sign there for weight, that's why I'm parked, so six miles all downhill, so it should be a good video of this. The road going down is meant to be one of the top five roads in the Yorkshire Dales. I was reading, so we'll see how it goes. Eh? Plenty of bikes here. And I'm way. It runs right across here. It's a path. You can just see the sign dotted along. It's like the main Penang way. It drops into this valley where, like I was saying, this is meant to be one of the top five roads in the Yorkshire Dales. So it says on the, uh, the official Yorkshire Dales like, website thing I was looking on. So that's a lot of it looks beautiful so far. A lot of old farmhouses up there. Look better like most of them. Sure. What oh, beautiful.
got to be careful because of the sheep. A lot of sheep jumping in front. stunning that road has just come down oh, what a road not even one pothole it's just perfect beautiful cycle I'd highly recommend if you can get up here and on with friends who've got the beers come up and try this now this route I've done I'll put it down on my Strava and my uh, Camus put the links underneath so you know the route uh, it's about 27 miles long and I've used all the battery up so it just shows that if you're doing big climbs you're not going to get a lot of the battery because you know I try and use it when I need it as well so I haven't had it on fully for the whole ride either so it's been quite a battery drain but it's been such a beautiful ride absolutely beautiful I mean the views are just amazing anyway I haven't got long to go about three miles down that road there along there drop into down that valley and then I should be there so let's go I'm going to have to put the uh, camera away for this. Just dropping it in the Keld. It'll be obviously good to do this route from, from here just the same. Look at what you're stopping for. So that's it done, I'm back. What a ride that was. I absolutely so much enjoyed that ride. It was really emotional when I got to the top because I didn't think I'd ever do that in my life. And uh, it was really good. And I just want to thank everyone who's given me the encouragement over the last 18 months. I couldn't have probably done it without all the encouragement I've had on this site. And hopefully I've helped other people as well. That's what I try and do and that's what I try and do with the channel. So hopefully with views like that, I can bring more. I'm nearly to the thousand now so that'll hopefully help me make the channel get bigger and buy better stuff to do better stuff so anyway thanks for watching and please like if you can and i'll see you on the next one that bottom of the valley